Ah, Paris. I'm contemplating a trip down the Champs-Élysées on a nice, warm, sunny afternoon in the summer. Maybe lunch at the Jules Verne restaurant in the Eiffel Tower. Wait a minute! My grandma actually used adhesive tape to repair an image 40 years ago of the Eiffel Tower. Well, so much for dreams, it's time to get to work. Go into your exercise file and open the file called Tape 1, and you'll be where we are. Now, we're going to actually cover the final solution to this in two lessons, but let's start by cleaning it up a bit. I'm going to go over and pick up my rectangular marquee. And let's give ourselves an image here. Let's cut out what we want. So we'll get right about there. And then we'll go up to the word image on the pull down menu. And we could use the word crop. Now that would get rid of everything around it, but let's do it a different way. Let's actually just press Control J. Now that gives us, let me open up my layers panel. I've got it over here. It gives us that inside of its own layer. So we'll leave the original so we can kind of do a backward and forward kind of before and after thing. Next step, we're going to get rid of the tape in this particular lesson. But I have an unorthodox way to do things sometimes. A lot of people try to salvage the details behind the tape, and you really can't do that very well. The tape is, is changing everything. Why not just get rid of it? There are clouds, at least most of this. All we have to do is worry about getting rid of the clouds. Let's go ahead and turn that back on, and let's turn off the other one so we just see this one. How do we get rid of the tape? This actually isn't going to be too hard. It's going to take a couple of steps, though. And again, it's an unorthodox way to do it. Now, we'll admit, when I do restoration work, my first stop is not Photoshop. There's, there's a, a method I use, and what it does is I take photographs like this, and I soak them in a chemical water bath. And that might take 24 to 48 hours. And when I pull it out, I can remove the tape. I can then go through this process, if you will, of restoring the image and flattening it, and then bring it into Photoshop and fix it. Now, we're not going to do that, obviously. That actually takes what the Greeks call throstles. It takes guts to do something like that to a photo. But when you think photos like this were actually born in water and chemicals, it's not really that big of a stretch. Let's get rid of the tape. I'm going to come over here and pick up my polygonal lasso tool. It's under the lassos right here. And I'm going to just actually do some straight line. You click and you move. That's how this works. I'm going to get really close to the Eiffel Tower. And I'm going to come back down to here. And I'm going to come back to here. Tape is a straight line, so it's no big deal. I'm sure Gustav Eiffel is just rolling in his grave over this. Let's go ahead and move that over an area. Now, here's the trick. When you use the patch tool, that's what we're going to use. You can use any tool you want to to make the selection. But in order to make it a patch selection, you have to go back to the patch tool to move it. So we're going to select it. I'm going to pick it up and move it over, I don't know, maybe something about like that, and let go. It's actually not too bad. Don't worry about this and this. We'll take care of that. Let's get the spot up here. And we'll go back to our polygonal lasso. And we'll get nice and close to the Eiffel Tower. And you just click and move. You don't drag. You click and move. And we'll go around that tape. You don't have to be too precise. Go ahead and give it a little leeway. And again, go back to the patch tool. Come back into here and move it over an area that kind of looks like it might work. Something like that. And let go. And again, don't worry about this. We'll fix that in a second. All right, there are areas in the middle. I think it saved us a lot of time for doing it this way. Next step is we need to clean it up using probably the clone stamp tool. Uh, that would be my tool of choice, if you will. But understand, there are a lot of ways to fix this. Some people might use the spot healing brush tool. This is just my way of doing it. Maybe not your way, but it does work. Let's do this. Let's press Control J, and that will give us a copy of this one. Now, that's kind of like our secondary layer, because if we don't like it, we can always go back to this. But I want you to do something else with layer one copy. That's what we're going to use the clone stamp tool on. I want you to turn this button on right here. See this one right there? That prevents any areas in this image that are transparent getting any color. I'll give you a quick demo of that. Pick up the paintbrush tool. Okay, you get it? So what's going to happen, let me undo that. What's going to happen is when I get up there and start cloning over that area, it won't go up above where we've got it cropped. Not really a big deal. We can fix that later, but might as well do this. Let's go ahead and pick it up. There's our clone stamp tool. 
And let's use a brush a little bit bigger than that. I am using my left and right bracket keys to make that happen. And let's get right about here, Alt and click, and come up here and begin replacing. See, it won't go over that other area up there, which is kind of nice. And we get over here and see if we can just kind of tap in some of those areas. Now, again, I'm looking for a very natural look in something that doesn't look like it's actually been copied. So you might want to, you know, come back over a couple of times and do it again and try it again and keep playing with those clouds until you feel like you've really kind of uh, got them natural. And actually, that's not too bad. Let's do this piece down here. And this is going to be easier because it's kind of in a solid area. Again, I'm going to Alt-click and I'm going to come over here. We might be able to get this in one swoop. And that's actually not too bad. And again, since I have that locking transparent option on, I'm not going over my border. Okay, the area up there is going to be a little bit harder, but no big deal. But let's make this bigger. I'm going to double click on my zoom tool, get up to 100%. And same process. Let's go ahead and pick up our clone stamp tool. And let's use a little bit of a smaller brush, I think. And we'll start with some stuff over here. You will do, obviously, a slightly different job in doing this than I will. Because um, you're using different areas, cloning different areas, whatever you're going to do. Just make sure it doesn't really look like it's a copy. And with clouds, that's not really that difficult to do because clouds, well, they're clouds. These are all happy clouds, incidentally. I do nothing but happy clouds when I'm doing this. And we're going to get really close to the edge. Let's do the other side over here. And again, I'm just alt-clicking, picking up some stuff, if you will, and just trying to, just trying to make it look as natural as possible and get as close to the Eiffel Tower as I can get. I see a little stuff over here. I think I'm going to see if I can get rid of that. And a little bit more in there. And that's actually not too bad. I see a little dot, a little spot right here. I'm going to go ahead and fix that too. So if we take this back down now to that, and we go to here, we can see what we did in that secondary layer to fix that problem. So the tape, except on the Eiffel Tower, is essentially gone. So let's go ahead and merge this layer into this one. We're happy. Control E is the shortcut for that. Okay, now we're back there and we can see, turn this one on. We can see now, so far, the before and the after. Now the problem is going to be, let me turn this one back on. If we come back over here, is this area right here has been completely obliterated. Now that's emulsion that's on the paper that cracked when it was folded and grandma didn't think enough about folding that information back again to get it. Now to be honest with you, when I did a bath on this one, that emulsion was still there and I got it. So I actually was able to repair the image better than we're going to be able to do it. But the problem is I can't restore what's under here. There's not really anything there. What I need to do, well we could do this a couple of ways. This is not how we're going to do it, but let me give you an example. I could pick up my rectangular marquee tool and I could go in, say, right below there and say, you get right about like that, I suppose. And I'm going to press Control J, which is make a copy of that in another layer, come over with my move tool and I could move that up. I could then use free transform to make it slightly smaller because it's getting smaller as it goes to the top. I could do it again and again until I get to the top. My biggest problem would be getting this stuff in here because that's not like this down here. But it would be possible. Let's say we could do it that way. But let's get rid of this layer. We're going to do it a different way, but to find out how we do it, you have to go to the next lesson. So save this one first. We're going to go up the word File and select Save As. All right, in Save As, let's go ahead and save this as a PSD, although it started as a TIFF. That's fine. I like working on PSDs. And everything else is the same, except we have to give it a different name. So this is going to be Tape 1A. We already have a Tape 2, so we can't use Tape 2. So Tape 1A, I'm saving it in my exercise folder for this file. Click Save. On to the next.